All right, let's return you now to our top story this evening. Citibank has reached a settlement with the Competition Commission on the RAND price-fixing scandal. For more on this, we're on the line now to Sipo Nguema, who speaks for the competition. Mr. Nguema, good evening to you and welcome. The figure around 70 million RAND. It's something called an administrative penalty. What exactly is that? Good evening, Jeremy, and uh, thanks for having me. Um, the, the Act prescribes that... Um, we can, or the tribunal can uh, uh, issue an administrative penalty of up to 10% of the company's turnover. So that's a prescription of the Act, and basically it's a fine uh, in layman's terms. How was the figure of 70 million uh, negotiated then? Uh, one has to take into account in a number of things, including what I have said in terms of uh, turnover of the country in the Republic of South Africa. But I think key and most importantly in this case is the fact that uh, Citibank approached us long before uh, we finished the investigation. We had to take into account uh, of their cooperation and also their cooperation as we proceed into the prosecution. And therefore, um, we had to, in our negotiations, uh, give them some discount in terms of um, the penalty. But it doesn't exceed 10%, but it's fairly uh, okay for us. And as I said, it takes into account of the company's operations in the land. Well, some critics are saying tonight that as far as Citibank's uh, fine is concerned, if you, try, if you are converted to dollars, it's something in the region of $5 million. If you look at the global organization that's net income in the second quarter of 2016 was $4 billion, that, Mr. Nguema, is chump change. Uh, one has to be familiar with the legislation before they can make those kinds of comments. The legislation says you can fine up to 10% of the company's turnover in South Africa. So in terms of what you say, we talk about global. In terms of the legislation in the country, we look at the turnover of the country in South Africa. So if you are familiar with Citibank's operations in the country, I'm sure you would understand that uh, we, um, the, 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 the fine does fit the offense and the circumstances around us or them coming to us to discuss a settlement before we finish the investigation. How big a discount did you give them? It's a fairly a good discount, but I think also it's a discount that says they will never again do what they have done. And I think as authorities are fairly okay, and as I said to you, it doesn't exclude, it doesn't exceed 10%, and I think uh, they will think again before they commit a similar offense again. But how big was the discount? 10%, 20%, 30%, 50%? I won't go into the detail, but I think it's good enough for us as an as a, as authority to make sure that they never do it again. Why are you not able to go into that detail? Explain that to me. Uh, part of why we are unable to go there, we still have to go through uh, the prosecution. Uh, there are certain confidential issues that may affect uh, our prosecution as we proceed, and that includes uh, the quantum in terms of where we are great uh, percentage-wise. Are they now exempt from prosecution? No, remember they are part of the people that we are prosecuting. However, we did not seek any penalty from them and APSA, and therefore that's why we are fairly happy, very confident as well in terms of the settlement that they have reached. So what does cooperation going forward mean? Cooperation going forward means that there's going to be a, a prosecution. We need witnesses, we need evidence, we need people who were part uh, of breaching the law to assist us, and that is going to unfold as we go to the tribunal. So you want them to sing like canaries, in other words, if they're not forthcoming with the information that, uh, that you require of them, uh, their situation in terms of that fine, I imagine, could change. Indeed, the final uh, word will come from the tribunal in terms of how things have proceeded there. And uh, in terms of this agreement, we are fairly okay that that gives us an edge as we go uh, to the tribunal, to the hearing in terms of this matter. Apart from Absa and Citibank, what other banks have come forward? Uh, those are the banks that... Uh, we have been able to make public announcement. If anything changes, we'll come back again and make further public announcements. Are you able to confirm whether you are negotiating in that respect with the other banks that have been fingered? Uh, I'm not able to confirm that. Anything that I can confirm will come through a public statement. Is this going to become a dogfight at some point, that uh, the banks are now going to look at self-preservation, their own position, and uh, they, would, uh, they would want to uh, almost turn on each other in, in, in some respect? I wouldn't know, but what I will know is that we are busy hard at work to, for, uh, to present a formidable case before the tribunal. How the banks 
uh, respond, uh, assist us in terms of settling the matter early, it's squarely uh, up to them. How close are you to concluding that investigation? Investigation has been concluded. That's why we have referred the matter to the tribunal. But you've got a tough job ahead of you, Mr. Nguema, because some traders are saying tonight that given a lot of the activity was done offshore, uh, it's going to be very difficult uh, for the tribunal to actually find anyone guilty here. Uh, I'm sure um, if that was the case, one, we would not have referred the matter to the tribunal. Two, we would not have been announcing agreements today of people saying, indeed, we did commit an offence. What's the timeline here? When do you expect the tribunal then to start uh, hearing this and, and, and handing down some sort of judgment? Uh, from the date of referral, which was last week uh, on the 15th, uh, the, the relevant banks have 20 days to respond. Uh, or come with a responding affidavit, and then we'll have to respond. So the normal process will take place at the tribunal, and they'll give us a date once a toing and froing has happened, uh, so that the trial or the the hearing can take place. Has Citibank ponied up the money yet? Uh, agreements have uh, were finalised today. So in terms of the agreement, the money should start uh, coming in terms of the prescripts of the agreement. Who exactly blew the whistle on this? Uh, it's not, uh, I'm not at liberty to say that now because we're still going to the hearing. As soon as the hearing starts, all other information will come out. Was it ABSA? As I said, everything will come out at the tribunal. Competition Commission spokesperson Sipon Gwema, thank you very much uh, for joining us. More on your top stories in just a moment. Do you have car and home insurance? Time to say have hail or windscreen damage on your car? You can submit your claim on the spot. Car and home insurance from Momentum. Speak to your financial advisor or SMS app to 42024 for a quote. Momentum for your financial wellness. SMS.